you can really see the podocytes here, I think, in this one. Um, quite a beautiful structure. Podocytes actually are named after the word podo, which means uh, a foot, and that's because they send out these little feet, and these feet actually interdigitate with each other and form a, 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 a web, which is the filter mechanism. We're going to be looking at these mini kidney organoids that have been grown from stem cells uh, derived from a patient, and we'll be seeing the little tiny tubules within the organoids. And then the podocyte cells, they form a round capsule at the end of the tubes. So there's the tube, and then these are, this is the, the mass of podocytes that are forming the filtration barrier. So in the body, the blood would be coming from this side and going through the podocytes, and then would be entering the tube. And here we've actually labeled the podocyte cells in red and the tubular cells in green. And you can see that the tubules form these branching networks that terminate in these clusters of these round podocyte cells. And if you take a really close look at these podocyte cells, they're trying to form these same types of tentacle structures. And uh, we figured out how they're doing that at the molecular level. We can use these podocytes to try to understand how kidney disease actually works and what goes wrong with podocytes at the molecular level so that we can develop drugs that'll prevent the progression of that disease.